Hello friends, welcome back to Alicia's in the Kitchen. Um, I've seen a few people trying to figure out what's going on with their peppers out of their garden. And since I know, I thought I would make a video to talk about it. And so we can all kind of understand what's going on. So let me turn around. I've got my last peppers of the season here on the counter and I'll show you some examples of what we're talking about. So these are my last peppers of the season. I would have had more peppers, but I just went ahead and pulled them because we've got to get um, all of our brassicas in the ground. I'm kind of a little late on that. Planted them on time, but I'm late getting them out into the garden. So the first thing I've seen a lot of people asking about is why their jalapenos look like this. Now I'm not talking about the coloring, I'm talking about these striations. And this is basically the fruit equivalent of a stretch mark. So this means that your jalapenos went through a rapid growth phase and the outer skin stretched and kind of cracked. It had micro cracks, we'll say. And then that is where it healed itself. And this is called corking, if you want to look up um, what that's called. I find here in the South, we get this kind of with our end of the season peppers. You'll see it some throughout the season, but the end of the season seem to do it more. And I think it's just that uh, last burst of energy to get the peppers ripened on the plant. Um, the other thing I've seen a few people talking about is why are their peppers turning red? So this is technically an immature jalapeno. Now this is how we are mostly used to eating them, but when a jalapeno is green, that's immature. And then this is a ripe jalapeno. Um, here's a, another example of that. And that's just that the, the fruit has come to ripeness. And it's the same with your bell peppers. You can see we've got our bell peppers set out here. And these are all the same variety of pepper. So when this pepper is immature, it's green. So when we think of green bell peppers, they're really immature peppers. This variety ripens to red, uh, as you can see from this guy. You can see he's, he's green still over here. And you can see even this bell pepper has some of that corking. Um, and this bell pepper ripens to red from green, um, and that's when it gets sweet. Your peppers are going to be more piquant when they're green, and then as they turn red or yellow, you know, bell peppers can ripen to yellow, orange, red, white, purple. There's a lot of colors, um, but that's when it starts to get more sweetness to it. And also with the jalapenos, if you were going to make a chipotle pepper, then you've got to get your jalapenos to red um, for chipotles. Now, another imperfection that I've seen a lot of people talking about is how their banana peppers are taking on uh, purple streaks. And it can be other peppers besides their banana peppers. And I even saw somebody say, oh, that's where your peppers are crossing over with other peppers. And that's not the truth. The reality is they get this purple streaking from stress. So that can be different kinds of stress on the thing. It can be not enough water, too much water. Um, nutrient deficiencies can cause the purple streaking as well as solar intensity or solar radiation. Um, so that is what is causing that. And you'll notice usually when you see the streaking, it's the plant where it's, uh, hanging out. It's just how it changes color to show you that it's under a little bit of stress. Now our last thing we have here is our poblano peppers. My plan had been to leave these on the plant until they turned red because a red poblano is actually what you dry and grind up to make chili powder. Well since these didn't make it to that point I'm going to dehydrate these and then I'll have green chili powder from these. Um, and we did make stuffed poblanos this year and everything. It's just these I was hoping to keep to be the red ancho chili. So uh, talking about ripening, we call this a poblano now, but when this pepper ripens to red, we call it an ancho pepper. And then an ancho pepper is what gets dehydrated and ground up to make just your normal run-of-the-mill chili powder that you think of. So instead we're going to make some green chili powder.
So I hope that answers some questions about some of these different issues that your peppers might be having as you're bringing them out at the end of the season.